Okay, so one of the things I'm learning, um, well, I learned quite recently, is um, you have to center your comb in the frame when you do the removal. See here, this comb is also not great. It's pretty skew and it's sort of built up away from the frame onto the other piece of comb. The issue with this, they build it off of here and then sometimes they'll connect this frame with another frame. Welcome back everyone, Stuart here from Bee Sanctuary. Just a quick video for those people removing bees on how to correctly install the extracted comb onto the frame. The first thing is to make sure that the comb is the right way up. So it needs to have the same top as what it had in the nest against the top of the frame. We then put elastic bands onto the frame to help hold the comb in position. These won't bother the bees and they will remove them themselves over time once they have connected the old comb with new comb to the edge of the frame. Once you've done this, you flip the frame over and then you start to score into the comb where the wires are so we can push the frame wires into the center of the comb. Finally, we push the comb through so the wires can position themselves in the center and then we get the comb positioned into the center of the frame ensuring that when we put this frame back into the hive box, every single piece of comb is going to be in the center of the frame. And then we don't have the problem of comb starting to overlap between frames as the bees build this out and join it. In the future, we'll be removing this comb from the box, but this is obviously to make the nest as close as possible to the one that we're extracting it from so that the bees don't abscond from this box and they've already got brood and eggs in this new hive to get the, the colony going as quickly as possible. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, for little, more little tips and tricks, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you got value out of this. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you.